Michael Joyce, skipper of the Polly B, has been a fisherman for 24 years. During most of those years, he's seen the quota for mackerel go down and down. Last year, the quota was filled before the fish even reached Newfoundland shores. I mean, the fish is there. It's a sin. I mean, we could have made a good living this year, the, the processors, the fishermen, the plant workers, and instead we're here, I mean, the second of uh, 2020, and watching fish come up on our shorelines that we couldn't catch this year. Dead mackerel began washing ashore in Cornerbrook last week. He says it's surely a sign there are plenty of fish. There's mackerel coming to our doorstep. As you can see, it's washing up in our beaches. I've had a very big set of mackerel this fall, October 6th to be exact, right here after wharf, and I had to let it go because uh, otherwise got it shut down. And nobody is listening, obviously, but Mother Nature is showing us that it's here. DFO says it can't say for sure the reason for the dead fish. However, there have been instances of water temperature playing a role. It could be as foraging offshore during a nice warm summer, they went further abroad, and then when coming back in their southerly migration, they got stuck in a little patch of warm water that increasingly shrunk. But this is just a guess based on previous uh, documentation of similar occurrences. I can't say with uh, certainty what exactly happened. Despite the number of fish washing ashore, Smith says the biomass stock assessments show there's not a lot of mackerel. He says it's still too early to tell what the 2021 quota will be. While fishermen can't predict what's going to happen in the future, Michael Joyce is hoping that DFO will listen to their concerns and revisit the mackerel quota for next year. Troy Turner, CBC News, Frenchman's Cove.